Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. Does Apple allow over-the-air updates of applications? This question arises from the use of the Code Push framework, which enables developers to push updates for mobile applications built with Cordova and React Native without needing to go through the App Store for minor fixes. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video, cheers. Let's begin by understanding what OTA updates are. OTA stands for over-the-air updates, which allow developers to push updates directly to users' devices without going through the App Store. The Code Push framework enables developers to implement OTA updates for applications built with Cordova and React Native. This means minor fixes can be deployed without needing to submit a new version to the App Store. However, when it comes to Apple, the rules are stricter. Apple does not allow silent OTA updates for applications. Any updates must go through the App Store review process. This means that while Code Push can be used for quick fixes on Android, developers must still submit their apps to the App Store for any changes made using Code Push on iOS. In summary, while Code Push offers a convenient way to manage updates, developers targeting iOS must adhere to Apple's guidelines, which require all updates to be reviewed and approved. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, Apple allows over-the-air updates for applications using React Native with Code Push. This is acceptable as long as the app does not give unlimited access to native SDKs or system functions. React Native uses JavaScript Core, which provides a limited API for JavaScript code, making it compliant with Apple's guidelines. For more detailed discussions, you can check the links provided in the original answer. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.